Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this text reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel and if you want to support this channel, all you need to do is subscribe this channel and share this video with your friends and family as much as you can. And also hit the like button so it will support me to create more and more videos like this. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 10 seconds long, and background color. You are free to choose whatever color you want. I'm going to choose white color for this specific animation. So simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection. Now I'm going to select my text tool and you are free to choose whatever font you want. I'm going to choose Poppins font. I'll choose black color and I don't want any stroke for this one and type whatever text you want i'm going to type let's say motion like this select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now go to the character menu and let's decrease the distance between these alphabets like this okay now select this and hit ctrl d go to the color options and let's make this aqua and we will hide this layer and we will lock this layer because uh, this is our extra layer so we don't really want this to use but if in case we did some mistake in our animations then we can use this again okay so this is my first text now hit ctrl d and let's hide this third text select this and go to the uh, character option let's delete this fill and we want the stroke and the stroke width i'm going to choose three only like this now select this shape right click create shape from text like this let's select this and let's delete this thing for now go select this uh, what we call our motion three outlines and go to the contents go to the add menu and choose trim path now go to the trim path let's make this zero create one keyframe at the end and one keyframe at the start let's go to around 1.15 let's make this 100 also make this 100 now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this now select the start and let's move this forward like this so if you see this animation we will get something like this hit u select this hit u and make sure that this is proper select this and let's move this a little bit forward like this okay now let's go to the start now let's go inside this and select the stream path one hit ctrl c to copy like this now select this text let's enable this right click create shape from text hit ctrl v to apply this a trim path let's select this i mean this one and hit u so as you can see we are getting this kind of text animation over here now select this outline hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's bring this downwards i am going to change the color for this one and let's enable this one only and hit u and we will delete this start keyframes so if you see we will get this kind of animation only and select this keyframe and let's move this over here so now our most of the animation is done now all we need to do we need to just adjust this according to our animation so let's hide this one for now though this is my first with the stroke and over here uh, press v and we can increase the stroke width let's make this 10 like this select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to choose different color for this one like let's choose blue color for this one and let's make the stroke width 2 like this select this and with the help of arrow keys i'm going to move this over here select this hit ctrl d and let's move this thing over here and i'm going to choose different color for this like greenish color select this line i think the 10 is too much so let's make this 5 like this so if we play this now we will get something like this now zoom in go to around 5 frames select this let's move this over here go to 10 frame select this let's move this over here or you can choose the 10 frame distance like this go to 20 frames let's move this over here and at this point i'm going to enable my this thing 
let's move this over here so it will animate from this point like this select this hit ctrl d and now over here i am going to choose white color for this one and let's move this a little bit forward so as you can see we are getting this kind of reveal over here like this now and at this point i'm going to select this outline and let's move this over here and let's enable this so it will start to animate from here like this now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and hit ok and if you play this animation as you can see we are getting this kind of reveal now press ctrl m to create another composition let's call it as fractal uh, or you, let's type gradient press ctrl y to create one bg go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect which is our gradient ramp and simply apply press ctrl alt y to create one adjustment layer and type what we are going to type mosaic effect and double click also increase it to 40 by 40 like this let's go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and bring this gradient over here let's hide this select this pre comp one go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement effect and i'm going to choose this gradient now go to the start let's make this quarter resolution as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff now let's go over here and now if you change this gradient from over here and this one over here sorry let's move this over here and let's how did we see how does this animation looks now it will look something like this and if you want you can select this you can choose 20 by 20 also let's make this half of a resolution like this okay now select both of them and press ctrl shift c like this select this go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect to apply let's apply red color select this hit ctrl d let's make this green select this hit ctrl d let's make this blue select this hit ctrl d let's delete this fill and search for find the edge effect like this select this hit ctrl d and let's delete all the effects now go to the start zoom in go to force frames select this move this over here go to 8 frames select this move this over here go to 12 frames select this move this over here go to 16 frames select this and move this over here so now if you see you will get this kind of complex animation now go over here select all of them hold alt open bracket go to the start and let's move this over here so we'll get this kind of stuff or instead of that i think don't think we need to follow this one step so let's bring this again over here like this okay now there is another way you can do is that as i can see i have used this gradient effect over here so you can hide this one press ctrl y and i am going to apply fractal noise effect on it to apply let's increase the contrast and decrease the brightness instead of soft i am going to choose blocks complexity let's choose two and if you see this thing now as you can see it will looks a little bit kind of weird thing but if you go over here let's make this one go to the transform unlink this scaling let's increase this width decrease this height go to the animation and now if you see you will get this kind of weird but cool looking effect now another thing you need to do go to inside this comp select this and we will choose time factor let's choose 2 and let's see let's go to the start or let's see point 0.5 go to the main animations and now as you can see we are getting this kind of effect let's make this full 
and if you hit play you will get something like this right click new and create one null object let's delete this stuff select all of them and make it apparent to this null one select this null one press s for scaling option and scale it like this now as you can see we can create some complex and weird looking text animation with the help of this technique okay so yep this is how you can animate this kind of stuff now press ctrl y let's make this black and hit ok and let's bring this downwards as you can see we are getting something like this let's go inside this text let's go over here as you can see the last one is in black color so you can choose this in white color and if you see in this main animation we will get this white form of text let's choose the quarter resolution or let's say half resolution we will get something like this so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned